Afterburner on the Sega Master System. It's a, it's something a, something jet planes. Yes, it's a port of an arcade game that I've never played before. Something something burn damage. From what we've seen so far, I think this game is going to be super duper intense. So I'm going to play the game for a bit and then Ryan's going to play it. It's going to be great. Okay. So, whoa, oh god, <laughs> dear lord, <laughs> it's so much touchier than I thought it was. <laughs> Holy shit! They're gonna wait until you're gonna get shot down. No, not really. Can I aim downwards? Kinda. Oh, I'm getting pretty close to the water. Okay, so, uh, this runs at a solid five frames per second. And what? And you're dead. What happened? I don't know. Pull up. Pull up. What the f- So there's a rocket coming at me, I notice, that I need to avoid. So to avoid that, what I will do is this! Well, that worked for the first one, but I did, not, one. I did not expect a second one. Here you go, Ryan. Oh, good. So yeah, this game is really intense and way more touchy than you think it is. Just keep that in mind. Also, because of the shitty D-pad, up and down may also be left and right. So keep that in mind. Also, once you get into a flip, you have to continue the flip before you can do anything else. You can just hold down the button to fire. But it doesn't fire super fast, though, does it? Oh, no, it does. What hit me? I'm assuming a rocket. You have rockets, too. I don't know uh -huh. if you can shoot other rockets out of the air, though. It looks like the rockets are pretty fucking useless. Because, uh, you shot that rocket, and it did nothing. God damn it. It just went straight forward. It didn't even go for any of the other guys. Is there ever been a an arcade game that was more disorienting and difficult? Probably. So before we started recording this, we watched the demo a little bit, and I said to Ryan how intense this game would be if they remade it for modern consoles. Uh, it, it would be pretty intensive, I will admit. God damn it! <laughs> But knowing Sega, they would probably throw in something that makes it different, and then that would ruin the whole point of porting it over to a modern console. Is that a shot at Sega or a shot at Sonic? What? That was a shot at Sega, because Sega does that. A lot. I'm gonna, you... I'm gonna give her another go. Okay, go ahead and give her another go. You know what's really weird about this game? It's displaying in widescreen. I just noticed that. Like, widescreen on our fucking CRT that we're playing on. Okay, I understand what leads to getting shot down now. What's that? Letting people live? Yeah, if they live while they fly past you, they fire rockets at you from the future. Future rockets! There's a rocket coming at you. Oh, uh -huh. you, you shot it down. Yes, it did. How come I couldn't shoot him down? Fuck! Your aim sucks. Well, that may be, Ryan. But still. I'm gonna look at the back and see if it says anything. Oh, good. I don't know why, but we really like to read the backs of games that we play on this Nowadays, show. Nowadays, yeah. Sega Smash Arcade. That's because I'm bullshit. To life. Like <laughs> that's because I'm bullshit. Like Army Men Green Rogue. That's true. Where the back of the box is just fucking beautiful. Okay, here we go. Here's the back of the box. Hey, look. Oh Neat. Jesus, that's gonna be fucking confusing. All right, Sega Smash Hit Arcade. Fuck. Sega Smash Arcade hit comes to life on your Sega system. You're a Navy Air Captain. At your control is the most advanced fighting jet ever to set the skies on fire. You supply the skill, reflexes, and guts. Your F-14 Thundercat gives you Mach 2 plus speeds, unlimited firepower, and a state-of-the-art battle computer which targets your enemies for destruction. I just got shot down. <laughs> Fire guided missiles, then blast away with your Vulcan cannon. Roll your F-14 left and right. Enemy missiles slide under your wings. 
Your afterburners roar as you dive for the wave tops. In the in this sky battle, you're outnumbered, but that's okay. When it comes to flying the unfriendly skies, you're the one they called the ace. That was motivational as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was supposed to be. That was like the first time they had a chance to really describe the game, because otherwise huh. it would have. They would have a novel on the side of the cabinet. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> that that was way easier to read than the California games one because the California games case is like completely filled with text I have been in like down. five different languages. <laughs> what? Do you want to take a look at the California games case? I would love to while you take another shot. Oh my god! I know it's it's long, but it's all in like five or six different languages. Oh my god, it, what, the last one's Italian. You know that because you... you I, I have learning. taken Italian class for the last several eight months or so. I suck at this, Ryan. I missed everyone. Future rockets are going to come to kick my, my present ass. Yes, yes, they are. <laughs> Dear God! <laughs> Trying to aim in this is kind of difficult. Because you're kind of flying all over the place. Okay, so I'm looking at the back of California Games box. The second language they go into is German. That's weird. Why German? <laughs> this is a French is the fourth one! And Spanish is fifth, and Italian is sixth. Damn, they shot me down while I was in the middle of a fucking barrel roll. I have absolutely no idea what that third language is. Maybe maybe it's Swedish or something, I don't know. I'm outnumbered, but it's okay. Cause I'm the ace. You are Phoenix Wright. I wonder if there's any of those games that we could play on the show. To I my, to my knowledge to. to my knowledge, they're mostly on the DS, aren't they? Yeah, but some of them are available for emulators now, so we could we could fake our way to it. I suppose. Oh, hey, I'm actually at level two. Neat. I think in order to progress the stage, you actually have to shoot down everybody. Jesus Christ. So it's like a wave enemies kind of game. It's sort of, I think. That's what I. That's how it feels, anyway, once you get go, going on it. I wonder how disorienting this is for people watching at home. It, it It's probably not great. <laughs> Cause like I Especially can, I, if you're one of those people who watches YouTube on your phone using a, like a VR headset or something. That's got to be such like a fucking particular, very small audience of people. Woo! Yeah, but at the same time, you know that those people exist. And honestly, I've been curious as to what it's like. If I had the headset, I would probably have tried it by now. It's not great. <laughs> it's not great. No, I have a headset for using that with my phone, and it it kind of sucks. Anyone with one of those headsets that they can use their Android phone in for, like, VR will know what I'm talking about when I say it kinda sucks. I love how we both no! been mashing the 2 button, but it actually, I think the fire rate's actually higher if you just hold it down. Mm, I'm not sure. It's hard to say. Oh, I just realized that the ready on the screen is in the Sega font. Woohoo! Did you see that rocket? Ah! Which one? There seems to be a hundred future rockets flying at you. I mean the one that flew underneath my wing. Have you noticed- Whoa! That, that was some action-packed shit. I'm actually quite enjoying this game. Until the part where you get shot down. Yeah, that part sucks. <laughs> the oh, game over is that's, also in the Sega font. That's- that's readable. <laughs> Alright, uh... Do we want to keep going with this? We, we, we're gonna go for a little bit longer. Okay. I'm gonna take another shot at this. Both of us get one more shot? Yes. That's fair. Okay, so. How, you, you told me this story while we went to Wendy's earlier today, but why don't you repeat it on the show? Because it was about your, your drink from one of the other Wendy's. Okay, I... That drink... I will never <laughs> order a drink from Wendy's without saying no ice ever again because of that. Because <laughs> what it was, like, you know, it's, the, it's a standard sip. Everybody knows what a standard sip is. Mm -hmm. And after two of those... I was already empty, and so I'm sitting there like, well, what the hell? That I shouldn't be. Uh, uh, those weren't that big of sips, because who? Anybody who can down half of a large Coke from Wendy's in one go, 
Kudos to you. I can't do it. <laughs> uh, but I mean, it's like, so after two standard sips, I'm sitting there, I'm like, why the hell am I up? And I lifted the lid up, and the, the cup was just completely filled to the, like, to the brim with ice. And it's not like, the, the ice was fit in there too perfectly, if you know what I mean. It's like, it's not like they put it under the fountain thing that dispenses the ice in, all uneven, and it all just falls in there. It's like they put that in in there three or four times, and after each time they put it in there, they shook it and then, like, used the straw and just did everything they could to, like, smooth it down, and then did it again. Which was incredibly impressive, considering we went through a drive through to get it, and when I went, like, as we were going through this drive through there was no one else in it. So the time between when we ordered and when I had that Coke in my hand was all of, like, 15 seconds. And they had it like that, and basically immediately. Wow. I was... Like, I was long gone by the time I had the second sip, but I was just furious. You was going into a blind rage, like an Incredible Hulk rage. Incredible Bulk rage. I don't even fucking know that reference. You it? should be glad about that, believe me. Is it a meme? It's an awful movie. <laughs> oh. Okay. Woo! -hoo. Nice. Barrel roll. I noticed, like, my- like, you know how sometimes when you're getting really focused in a game? Yeah. You can kind of notice, like, little things? Yeah. I noticed that some of the things that are coming to kill me are fucking, like, attack helicopters. <laughs> yeah, that was something I wanted to mention earlier, is I like how they actually bothered to make it so that it's like, you, you sort of have, like, the, um, I don't know the actual name of the plane, but it's essentially, like, the the, the planes you always see in, like, war movies that they use for the kamikazes. I, the, I don't know what the hell they're called. Biplanes? Ooh, level three! No, no, because no, biplanes are the ones that have, like, the two sets of wings. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's not those. Like, the the other ones. Zeros, I think they're called. Are you trying to say, like, this this takes place in World War II? Because I, no, I don't I'm think they have, they have this plane. Because those World planes are, like, essentially fucking other fighter jets. So it's like they have essentially Zeros, other fighter jets, attack helicopters. I think I saw, like, some stealth bomber looking thing earlier. Like, they actually did diversify what the enemies look like. Fuck. And that's. Considering that the overall bulk of this game is here is what the sky looks like, here is what the ground looks like. And here's what the rockets look like, and you stare at the same plane for the whole game. That's I that that I really do enjoy the fact that they did diversify it so that it's like you're not essentially staring at all the same stuff over and over again. Makes sense. Until you get to stage three and you're sitting there like, okay, I'm tired of seeing the same enemies over and over again. <laughs> you know, I just thought of like what port of this game would be the absolute worst. Like if they ported this to Virtual Boy. That would mean that either your plane is fucking red- No! It would mean that the ground would have to be red, your plane would have to be red, and the fucking sky would have to be black. Have you ever seen what a Virtual Boy game looks like? Yep. God. It looks terrible. I didn't even see a missile coming at me that time. I've seen, like, those fucking Tiger Electronic games that look better than some Virtual Boy games. Actually, that might be a bit harsh. Well, uh, what do you what do you mean by Tiger Electronic Games? Um, you remember how many years ago, like within our childhood, they at McDonald's they had those little Sonic the Hedgehog games. Do you remember those? Oh my God, yes, I still have some of them. I love those. The, sh things. the Shadow one was my favorite one. My favorite, by far. My my favorite was the Sonic the Hedgehog one, because it was like one of those runners, you know, like like we got Temple Run now, but it was you know simple. It was a simpler time, people. <laughs> The Shadow one was essentially a rhythm game in the way that you were gr If I remember correctly, you were grinding down a rail, and you had to jump with perfect time- I'm gonna take another run at that, because I was off my game for that. <laughs> <coughs> and also because I'm mid-story. Okay. But basically, the entire premise of it is you were grinding down a rail, and you had to, like, jump gaps and stuff like that, and also jump to get, um, uh, gems and stuff like that to increase your score. Okay. And, like, the entire point- like, I, I got ridiculously good at that game. Like, there was one time, driving to my grandma's house, like, back from where I used to live, back when I was, like, a little, little kid, and the distance, like, that's a three and a half hour drive. 
And I was able to go the entire distance on one round of the game. <laughs> okay. We- I don't know where that thing is now. But all I remember is that we- I- neither me nor my brother have ever, ever been able to beat that score. I would absolutely love to play those things again, but like... I, I don't know what happened to mine. They probably got sold at like a garage sale or something. Probably. You know, you know, if we- People may look back on this, like, if we ever get popular enough to open, like, a P.O. box or something, and if you're ever looking back on this video, like, s send me the Sonic the Hedgehog one, and I'll absolutely fucking say Send me it. the Shadow one. <laughs> like, that, we won't be able to record it as, like, an official episode like this, but d we'll try. We'll, we'll do whatever we can. We'll make a video on it. What the fuck? We're, we're working on making new content anyways. We'll by that point, we'll probably have a much more diverse array of content other than fucking... Just let's plays. Maybe, maybe. That that's a time commitment thing, and school and stuff like that kind of pigeonholes me into just let's plays because it's because they're the easiest thing to make. Yeah, it's easy for me to just sit down for a couple hours and play the games. Yeah, it's, well, I mean, if if we it's also very relaxing, especially this close to finals, because <laughs> we're actually like a week out from when my finals start at the time of recording this and. I am stressed to say the least. <laughs> well, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna experiment with sketches a little bit, starting with the intro to one of the returning series that we're gonna be doing. That I'm not gonna reveal at the moment because that would spoil the surprise. Ugh. It's hardly a sketch. It. I mean, it's it's experimenting with sketch comedy, though. Wouldn't you say? Kinda. At least a little bit. If anything, it's experimenting with our abilities to make a GIF because we can do with. A three-second thing, turn it into a GIF, and then that, that's essentially the intro we're talking about. I suppose. I don't know. We're, we're gonna experiment more with our content. That's the main point. Well, this has been Afterburner. Yes, this it, game... It's been fun being a fighter jet for these last 18 <laughs> minutes or so. This, this game is actually fucking amazing. It, it's very good. <laughs> I am glad we played it after California Games. Because California Games would have just ruined everything. Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> Like, any good mood we had from playing Afterburner, just fucking destroyed by playing California games. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I actually what? understand a ridiculously good amount of this uh, Italian one. Is it written in, like, basic Italian? Pretty much. <laughs> Amazing. Either that or I've taken enough Italian seeing as I'm in university that I actually have started to gain a semi-competency in understanding the language. <laughs> Which is concerning as all hell. Well, but anyway, well, see you guys in the next episode. Yep, remember to click on these videos, like the video, subscribe, and comment down below if you love Afterburner. And even if you don't love Afterburner, just, just comment down below. It'll be fun. Have a conversation. Converse with us. We'll fucking talk to you if, you, if, you, if we feel the need to. True story.